prepare your graduation certificate, your academic transcript, your internship or clinical training certificate, your license certificate or card, university prospectors, and prepare 300 Saudi Real for this process. So guys, today I'm going to be showing you for those people who want to do professional registration and they have maybe created uh, an account already, but when you want to sign in for, I mean, when you want to do professional registration, you reach a point which tells you that your university is not registered in the system. So here is what you need to do because that means that there is no one of your course and from your university, there is no any student from your university who has ever done professional registration in Mumaris. Also, this for, for, for this, let's say, I'll give you an example. For example, if I started at a certain, maybe let's say I started, I started at, at a certain university, but I studied, what's this, maybe Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and I have a friend who studied at the same university, but he or she studied Bachelor of Science in Midwifery, okay? We will have to register our universities because if I register my university under the course of Bachelor of Science in, under the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, when she comes to, to register herself, she's going to, she, she will have to register uh, the university again because my, we, even if we started at the same university, we don't have the same course, if you get what I mean. So if someone who comes to register, if someone comes to register, I mean, if someone comes to do professional registration and we have this, we started at the same university, we studied the same, we took the same, what's this, we, we, ha we took the same degree, that has no problem. But if we started at the same university, but we were, but we, each one of us had a different, was pursuing a different degree, each one of us will have to register the university under the certain degree, okay? So, for those who say they, they cannot see their university, here we go. This is what we are going to do. I will assume that you already have the account because I already showed you how to create your accounts. So, you go in your Google, whichever you're using, you just write Saudi Commission for Health Specialties, just like that, and log in. We're going to log in. Because I already have my account, that's what I'm going to use. For those who are new, you will need to press on sign up because you don't have an account. But for those who already have accounts, let's just log in, okay? Okay. Let's log in. They'll send me an OTP. Let me wait for the OTP and I'll have to put that OTP and move forward, okay? All right, I'm in my account now, as you can see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press on the right corner. Is it the left, the left top corner and go to services? Okay, services will open just like this. Now this is all services, as you can see. Okay, a lot of services. This is under two conditions. One, if your university is not registered in the system. Second, if your university is registered in the system, but your degree is not appearing, the degree is not appearing. You find your university, but you don't see Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Maybe you find something like Bachelor of Science in Medicine, or you find Bachelor of Science in Midwifery, Bachelor of Science in Pediatrics. You will need to register your course under your university, okay? So we'll... We are going to choose new qualification of study because this they say apply for qualification that are not listed on Mumalis Press to be reviewed for classification purposes, okay? So that's what we're going to do. You choose apply, and this is just the service description. They're just showing you like what you're going to find and everything, what you're going to do, just scroll up. And they are showing you this is going to be 300 Saudi Arabia, you will need 300 Saudi Arabia because you need to pay for this service to register your university and your, your degree. 
under the, the university that you studied, okay? Apply. So new qualification of study. This, this is where people go wrong. If they ask you, does Saudi Commission for Health Speciality qualifications list include your qualification? If this Saudi Commission of Health Speciality does not include your qualifications, you need to say no here. You need to say no. Because if you say yes, things are going to, I mean, you're going to just end here. But if you say no, which means your qualifications do not appear in the system, which means you need to put them, make sure you put no. Put no on this on this section, okay? Click continue. Declaration, okay. These are normal questions. Have you ever had application uh, registered license permit? You need to put no for all these. All these, have you ever had your professional registration or license suspended? Here they are just trying to check your background because if you say yes, you're not going to move forward. All this, this is just background check for everything. Have you ever been provoked, things like that, uh, disciplinary actions, okay? All these have to be no. Continue. Okay, now when it comes here, new qualification, okay, we start service details. On service details, new they are asking you professional group here because it's, let's, let's say, we are applying for nurses. Now you see here there is dentistry, laboratories, medicine, nursing, pharmacist, therapist, a lot of things here. But for us, it's nursing and made with free. That's what we're going to choose. That's our professional group. Specialty medical fields, here we're going to choose. If you're a midwife, choose midwifery. If you're, you're a general nurse or another specialty of nursing apart from midwifery, choose nursing, okay? Specialty. Now, this is specialty. Specialty, if you are, you see this? If you are an emergency and disaster nursing administration, home health care, nursing, there's nursing neurophysiology, neurophysi there's nursing, nursing or neurophysiology, there's nursing as nursing, like gen if, you're, if you don't have a specialty, it's just nursing, okay? There's nursing administration, medical and surgical nursing, adult critical care. People were asking me, primary health care nurse, all these things are here for you, nursing education, cardiovascular nursing, pediatric nursing. I mean, do you see all those? Those who are asking, are there opportunities? I know what, all these are specialties that Saudi, I mean, Saudi allows. Saudi takes these specialties. So if you're specialized in these areas, I mean, you can apply. You can apply. For those who are asking, these are the specialities that are available in Saudi. Okay? So speciality, if you don't have any speciality, you are just a general nurse, we are going to choose we are going to choose nursing. Okay? Country of study. Here you can talk about the country of study. Let's say I'll choose Tanzania because I'm Tanzanian. More familiar with that. Country of study. Put your country, the country you study. Now, the university, you need to tell them. Which university did you study from? I studied from the Catholic University. Catholic University of Health and Allied Sciences, okay? That's the university I studied from, okay? Qualification study. What was your qualification study? Was it bachelor? Was it certificate of registration, clinical fellowship, diploma, doctor of philosophy, doctorate, high school? A lot of things, okay? So we're going to choose bachelor because it was just for the degree, okay? Certificate. Here you're going to write what appears on your certificate. If your certificate reads bachelor of science, maybe Bachelor of Science in Midwifery, that's what you're going to write. If it, it reads Bachelor of Science in Nursing, that's what, I mean, whatever it reads, you need to write it there, collectively as it appears on your certificate. So I'm going to write Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, okay? That's the certificate I achieved from that university, okay? Here, requ on required documents, okay, required documents, there is graduation certificate. You need to upload your graduation certificate here. I'm just going to upload any other thing because I'm just doing this for a tutorial, okay? Okay, that's just 
for 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 showing you okay you need to uh, to download your certificate university certificate okay academic transcript okay let's say you need to upload or what's this you need to upload your university transcript there also down here there is somewhere where they say a certificate of registration or license to practice here you need to upload your your license or if they give you certificates of license which tells who are you you're a nurse your license number from your nursing council in your country just upload that the nature of the research or work this is just for postgraduate degrees only for those who have masters and phds and things like that they can upload that okay just leave that if you only have bachelor's because that does not include you okay certificate of completion of training or a letter from a training supervisor detailed description of the clinical or practical training content and duration now he, for those who did internship if you did internship you can also put that you can upload your internship certificate here because it's certificate of completion of training or a letter from a training supervisor okay you upload your official program guide or the program link on the website of the issuing authority on the internet. Here, they want a comprehensive description of the program that specifies the requirements for admission, the course of study, the quality of training. The... Now, to make things simple, if you have a prospectus from your university in the years you studied, you will need to upload your prospectus here. If you don't have that, I think some people usually upload their transcript here because the transcript shows the number of courses you studied. It shows which year you studied those, I mean, courses. But a good thing about the prospectus, the prospectus actually shows, it explains widely, it explains widely the hours and the credits of what you studied. I mean, if you have your university prospectus, just upload that thing because it will be in PDF, right? Maximum size 20 MB, okay? So I, when I was actually doing this myself, I uploaded a prospectus from the university I started from, from the website of the university I started from and just uploaded it here. That's going to help you because they are, they, they are going maybe to download that prospectus and check if your university qualifies within international standards. They want to see how you study your semesters and things like that so that they can register that university if it stands out in the international standards, okay, of nursing. So I'm going to, I hope you understand, to show you, but you need to put your university pro prospectus there, okay? Final graduation certificate. Now, here, you will need to upload, wait, up here, there was something that said graduation certificate. That's been graduate certificate of final health qualification. In the, yeah, there we uploaded our university certificate. And down here, they say final graduation certificate, previous health qualifications, if any. Final graduation. Here, you can also, you, you, can, you can download your university certificate again. I, I think so, because they say final graduation certificate. I think you can also invest certificate there, because it's just the same thing as, what's this? What we saw up here, graduation certificate, okay? And as you can see, this, for example, graduation certificate is mandatory because it has a, a register on it. Academic transcript is mandatory. It has a register on it. Now, if you can see on this certificate of registration, the license, it's not mandatory. If you see this, what's the certificate of completion, what's not mandatory, and these prospectors and everything, official pro, it's not mandatory. But then this person who once said that he only uploaded those mandatory things and he, his, I mean, his new qualification study application got rejected. He didn't know what he did, but I think he did not put enough details to show that the university he started from qualified in international standards, okay? So even if these places do not have registers, please upload those documents there so that if they miss that information on your certificates, they can also go and view the prospectus from your university, which is very important because they are going to see in deep about your university, okay? So we are going to 
continue all right when you continue here is what here is what you're going to see okay now from service details we are going to see service summary they are going to give you a summary of what we chose we chose nursing and midwifery professional group nursing and midwifery specialty medical field nursing because maybe you're just a general nurse, you don't have any specialty, your specialty is still nursing itself, country of study, university. They are just making sure that you downloaded every single thing that they wanted in details. So when you reach here, you just click apply. All right, they are going to take you to this. So after service summary, we got payment. Now on payment, you will have to pay 300 Saudria, which I'm not going to pay because I'm just doing this for the tutorial as you know If you're using visa card and mastercard, you can choose visa up there If you're using a different thing, which I don't know what it is down there You can choose that and proceed click proceed to payment They are going to redirect you to somewhere where you can pay. Okay, you're going to pay that amount and after you're done I mean, that's it. They're just going to keep you on application review. You're going to wait. Now, new qualification, new qualification study takes, takes around maybe one month. It can take up to 50 days. They are actually going to send you something like an invoice or an email telling you that this can take around maybe 50 days or even a month. But after a month or after around 40 days, they're just going to give you maybe an email if your new qualification study was accepted. You're going to see your email, which will appear. I'm going maybe to put a picture here to see if I still have that email of how they tell you if it has been accepted so that you can continue with your professional registration, the tutorial that I showed you before this. Okay, so after you've waited, they're just going to tell you completed. And that's it. You can proceed to professional registration okay you can now register and professional registration does not take a long time within three days you already have the eligibility number to book for your prometric exam okay thank you so much guys for being with me and i hope you get your university into the system so that we can you can proceed with the application see you and don't forget to subscribe